What's up, YouTube? I'm back. I'm going to go through another uh, daily buzz for you guys. But this time, y'all, I wanted to use my dye, my, dye, my Zodiac dye. Um, this is going to be for Aquariuses because we are in Aquarius season. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reading specifically for Aquariuses. And before I start, I'm going to roll the dice and I'm going to see um, what sign you could potentially be dealing with. Um, also, I do offer personal readings. Go ahead and check the description box. It'll give you all the information that's needed. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification the notification bell. It'll alert you when I do upload content to the channel. I appreciate y'all who rock with me. Again, tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is going to be for an, for Aquariuses. Sign specific because we are in Aquarius season. Hey, Aquariuses. Um, so let me go ahead and roll the die and see. Who you could potentially be dealing with. So we have a Libra. You could possibly be dealing with a Libra. Or a Scorpio. If this is not. They may have this in their chart. Or you could. And Taurus. So those are the three signs. Libra, Scorpio, and Taurus. This could possibly be the sign that you're dealing with. Let me go ahead and get some Oracle messages. So I see right here off the bat. They said change it. Y'all see changes. Changes and rise. So changes are on the rise. Or this could be like a Phoenix rising energy. You could be tapping into your power. Stepping into your power. And things are changing for you. Earlier when I was um, saying about this being for Aquarius. I saw 5-5 five, five on the screen. And I know 5s are about change you guys. So you have some changes um, coming your way. And it says creator earth and fall in love with your own story so this is a definitely about a phoenix rising somebody stepping into their own power making some serious life adjustments let's let's see success and transformation yeah changes on a rise and some things are looking up for you aquariuses and this could be aquarius sun moon rising and venus you guys if you don't know um your birth chart you might want to look into that there's an app called time passages all you need to know is your correct time of birth and it'll give a give you your whole, whole birth chart you know because we're more than just our sun sign right we have a lot of we have a lot of signs <laughs> we're not just one sign we are more than just our sun sign i don't know if you, a lot of you know that but let's see what else spirit what else do my Aquarius is need to know please and thank you that's it. Okay, Creator, uh, Creator Earth. Y'all saw me shuffle them cards, and it comes out, comes out again. So, it, especially they say specifically, specifically for they showing me green. A lot, these cards are green, and this this changes right here. This looks like a big ass pinnacle. So, it, this leads me to believe this is around your money. So, we're gonna go ahead and pull the money cards, y'all, and I'm gonna see. Um. Step ahead is all you need. Again, green. So this may be centered around your heart chakra. So the message I'm getting is whatever you're doing, whatever it is that you're indulging in, uh, whatever path you're partaking in, do it with your heart. Go into it with your heart. That's how you'll see your greatest successes. Lead your metamorphosis. Yeah, changes. Again, changes. You have some serious changes going on um, right now. Let's see. Let me pull these money cards. I didn't expect to, this to be about... <clears throat> career but we're gonna get some career messages and see what else spirit what else do my Aquarius is doing? give me some money messages let me have some money messages please and thank you Y'all, excuse my phone. I be forgetting to turn it off. Like, I tell y'all, during the daytime when I'm not doing nothing, I don't get no alerts, no texts, no calls. Like, as soon as I start reading these cards, trying to record for y'all, they want to come through with the company, right? So, let's go ahead. Give me some money messages, Spirit. Angelic help. This is a time to trust in the universe and know you, you will be provided for. There's a career or blessing lining up for you. So stay positive and believe. Pay attention to the signs your angels send you during this time. Yeah. Yeah. 
some there's something that you have going on it's about to take off like it's about to change it's about to transform for you y'all heard that y'all heard that uh confirmation that phone just chimed creator earth and i say this is around money like so whatever you do put your heart into it because it's going to bring you a lot of success I hear a leg up, like you about you. It's about to transform. Something is about to start looking up for you, like a phoenix rising, like something that was I heard dead in the dust. They showing me some ashes. There's something going. It's gonna rise out of there. Something to rise up for you. It says pay attention to your signs. So a lot of you could be seeing um, angel numbers seven 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 one. 11 11 1, 1, 1, or just repeating numbers or signs and synchronicities you know like something like you may ask a question and you're waiting on an answer from the universe god they'll make your your answer they'll give it specific to you they'll let they'll you'll know that that is the answer is from them right so be pay attention to the signs that you've been receiving lately because they've been trying to show you some stuff like things are changing things are really changing five 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 as i'm saying this Things are start are gonna start looking up for you, especially in the career, career field. And this is because you stepped into your power, right? Motivator. There is a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. Consider a career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activism, or mentoring. You may be in need of motive of motivation yourself or needing inspiration. So, like I said. Keep that motive them keep stay motivated keep that momentum about yourself because things are picking up they are picking up they're about to change i heard change for the better mm, i like it So it says, prepare for unexpected financial loss. This financial crisis may be out of your control, but you can still control the outcome. Deal with things head on and try to prepare for the unexpected before it happens. So I hear put away put away some money for a rainy day. Or some of you may have some unexpected bills that may come um, forward that needs to be tended to. Go ahead and tend to them, you guys. Just get that out of the way. Just get it out of the way. Trust and believe you will be provided for. I don't know. This may be something that might take up take away take up the money that you have stored for a rainy day but don't worry about it because when your first card out was angelic help which states this is a time to trust in the universe and know you will be provided for so just know keep in mind that you lack nothing i lack nothing that's a great positive affirmation uh, for you to recite to yourself This is designer, y'all. You're being called to tune into your own individuality and express yourself. A career in fashion, art, or any artistic endeavor could be just for you. Get creative with your finances. Perhaps it's time to discover a new talent. So maybe some of you could have a talent that you're sitting on. And it could be in design, fashion design. But also it's saying in... Um, the way you express yourself, like the clothes you wear, the way you style your hair, go ahead and look, meet, lead your metamorphosis. Transform those things about you. Like it's time to tap into who you really are. It's time for you to rise. Like, you know, like be who you are internally, not, not who everyone wants you to be. Lead your metamorphosis. Get creative with your finances. Perhaps you, it's time to discover a new talent. I hear baking. They showing me some cookies. <laughs> whatever it is it don't have to be specific around design a uh, designer but some of you may be a designer and this is about aquariuses right aquariuses are the innovators of the zodiac these will be your fashion designers or your interior home designers or you know people that just work good with the hands like you know what i'm saying don't sit on your talents y'all don't sit on your talents now is the time to bring them into the forefront like rise it says rise that's bringing something to the forefront leaving your metamorphosis some you know like you have to be the change that you want to see nothing changes unless you do thank you spirit a writer your words have power to influence others find out how you can contribute a career in social media management book writing content writing or blogging can be for you use words 
and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life. So some of you, I heard podcasts or some of you may want to start a blog or some of you may be thinking about writing a book. But it says your words have power to influence others. Find out how you can contribute. So when I said lead your metamorphosis, like show people who you are, show people the real you, the innovators, Aquariuses are the innovators of the Zodiac. Like, um... They don't, they don't, they rock to the beat of their own drum. Like Aquarius tend to think like the rules don't apply to them. Like, you know what I'm saying? So they do their own thing. And nine times out of 10, like it turns out better than expected, you know? So let the world see you. Like, you know, you could be a motivation for someone else to actually step into who they are. So don't like, I, I hear um, inspiration. Yeah motivate motivator like you are a motivator thank you spirit motivator you're a motivator you're a mo you motivate people to do what it is that they honestly want to do right uh, let me see i don't know what else to pull right here you guys let me get some of these hustle messages <laughs> i like this day this is again it's about money and i'm gonna tap into a little bit of the love portion y'all i have a lot of love readings on the channel so when i do these sign specific readings which they will only be done during that season like so we're in aquarius season i'm gonna do for aquarius and then for pisces pisces will get the sign specific readings you guys um so i'm not gonna do too much love in the sign specific readings but i could get some look it says wealthy woman rich bitch hustler provider <laughs> and it says rich bitch wealthy wealthy woman but this could you could be a man too you know whatever this is whatever you're gonna tap into or whatever it is that you got going on it's gonna make you some money because you have a go-getter mentality with hustler provider you could be a single mother father Let me see. Ooh, they flip right out of there. It says, think rich and wealthy. Whatever you think about, you bring about. What it says, use words and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life. So some of you may want to start journaling, you guys. Like, that is a good way. Like, that's a good way to manifest, manifest it. You can even draw pictures if you're good at drawing. Like, you know, or like a vision board. You may want to do a vision board. Like, get, get... Spirit saying, get on that. Get on that. Yeah, money moves. I can't make this up. Y'all, whatever it is you're venturing off into is going to make you a lot of money. Like, put your heart into it. There's a lot of green on this table. Use your skills to create. Y'all saw me flip that card off the top. Come on now. Come on now. Ooh, I like it. Let me see. I'm going to get one more. Ugh. Let me get one more spirit. Please and thank you. And then I'm going to jump into some love for y'all. I'm going to ask what's coming into love. So it says money block. So like I said with this unexpected card. Some of you may have some unexpected bills. Or some you know unexpected. Something unexpected that, that arises for you. That's going to cause you to tap into. Um, have to dig into the money that you have saved. But don't worry about it because you're going to be taken care of. Like whatever you whatever you have to spend, you're going to get it back. I heard you're going to get it back tenfold. The blockages that you have around money, those are being lifted. And it, you know, it could definitely be lifted, y'all, with the manifestations. Like I said, writing it down or like drawing it. Like, you know, you could... Positive affirmations. I am a money magnet. Money is comfortable for me. Co comfortable being with me. Like money knows where a home is. This is why it's always returning to me. Call it back to you, right? You can't have a negative relationship with money and expect to get money. Like, you know, money moves. Be about your bag. Like I say, putting your heart into it. Go into it, whatever you're doing with your heart. Like, leave the pessimistic attitude out of it. Like, be optimistic about what it is that you're that that you're embarking on. What it is that you're doing, right? So, let me see. Let me go into this deck and we're going to get some love messages. 
Let me see what's coming in love for you guys for my Aquarius is. I like it, y'all. I like it. I like basing the Zodiac readings around career and money, you know, because a lot of people get these readings around relationships. And tarot, you can tap into a lot of stuff when it comes to tarot. Like, you know, why? I'm not going to say it's a waste of time, but if you can find out what will help you make money or get you stability in the future, go ahead and take advantage of that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this for my Zodiac, for my, uh... For my signs, for my individual signs. This is the kind of sign readings I want to do. Because I always said I wanted to do sign readings, but I didn't know how I would implement them into the channel. And I think this is what I'm going to do. I like it. I like it. Give me some love messages, spirit. What's coming in for my Aquarius is, as it pertains to love? Please and thank you. What's coming in for my Aquarius is as it pertains to love, spirit. Please and thank you. What's going on in the romance department? No, no love messages. <laughs> so maybe I should leave the love portion out of the sign-specific readings. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Give me the messages. Give me some love messages, spirit. Oh, thank you. Nine of swords, suffering, worry, lack of sleep, anxiety, negativity, regret, breaking point, mental anguish. So I feel like some of you are, oh my God, you're heartbroken. Heartbreak under the deck, ten of wands. It says breaking point. You've reached your breaking point when it comes to a certain kind of relationship or you will be in the future. Remember, y'all, these readings are not gender based, so they can apply to male or female energy. We house both. Um, they're not time specific. So whenever you're watching these readings, they, they can resonate for you. So, um, I'm recording this on February 3rd, even if you see them in March, like it could still be specific to your situation. And also I see 10 of wands under the deck and next follows that the six of cups. So this is a relationship, somebody that you've been with a long time, but it's a lot of heartbreak. You have, you have, who three, oh Lord, this is a lot of hurt here. You guys. Some of you have rough times in relationships or you're going through a rough time in your relationship or you just have bad relationships in general, you know? But I feel like this could be someone from your past, someone that hurt that hurt you dearly, like, and you reach your breaking point with this person and you decided to drop the burden with this Ten of Wands. It says one final push. It's, it's become a burden. It's becoming too much for you to bear. And I see if you have all this going on in your career, this is what you really need to be focused on. So the Ten of Wands right here is, is perfect. Like dropping that burden because you don't need to be focusing on that right now. What you really do need to be de dealing with is healing yourself. So that and oh, money blocks. The money block is this relationship. Thank you, spirit. What you're what you're refusing to let go or what you just let go of. This is the money block. Six of cups. Somebody may want to reconcile with you. Come back, somebody from the past. But be careful, y'all. Look, the tower moment. The tower says upheaval, sudden change, chaos, breakup breakdown uncertainty so be careful because somebody is i see having they're yearning for you the past returns they're having uh nostalgic thoughts and it says reconciliation this could be old relationships and this could be old old friends too right <clears throat> but i did ask around the love department but we love our friends and they love us so this could be around friends or our family it's not you know it's not dedicated so to partnerships but also it is the tire moment so this person is just gonna cause a lot of chaos and with this unexpected thank you spirit they said they said show them this okay so it does tie in the tower with unexpected this could be this person coming back and trying to get money out of you because it did say prepare for unexpected financial loss so this may be someone that that's coming in to borrow some money from you or it says this financial crisis may be out of your control, but you can still control the outcome. Or like they may do something that causes you to lose out on money. Like I don't know why I hear a wrecky car or something like that. But something like this person is, is, is they, they're a hazard to your stability. Thank you, spirit. To your top, to the tower could be your home life. Like, you know, your stability. Like they, they're a hazard to your stability. Like it, it, look, eight of swords. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. It says feeling trapped, isolation, self-imposed restriction, helpless, victim, victimized, negative thoughts. This is the money block. They saying this connection that you keep holding on to, or that you're that you're 
I don't say refusing, that you're that you don't want to let go of, that you keep trying trying with. This is your money block. This is what's causing your money block. It's causing money to to stay stagnant. That's why I'm saying the first card out right here was change. Like, you know, changes. It's time for you to change the, change the way you look at this dynamic because it's not healthy for your stability. It's time to let go like three of swords. Look, you have three of swords. Let me show you. You have three of swords which says heartbreak, emotional pain, breakup. Can you lower that, please? Can you lower that, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Betray breakup, betrayal, suffering, conflict, love triangles, tears. And right behind what's under the deck is four swords. What follows the three of the four of swords follows the three of swords. So all this heartbreak, it's time for you to rest and recuperate from that. Time out, meditate, put yourself in solitude, like isolate yourself from this connection because it's time for healing this this couldn't it has you overwhelmed it's burden it's time for you to drop the burden if you want to get to the money you guys you have to leave this connection out right but notice that this person is watching you they sneak you though they mischievous like this person they argumentative they might they think of clever ways to get back into your good graces watch out for this person and the, the message from the advice from spirit is to go hermit mode thank you Herman mode is soul searching, introspection, solitude, withdrawal, reflection, research, inner guidance. Trust your intuition when it comes to this connection. Like you could you could be quite alright as long as you're not dealing with this person, but as soon as they come in, you're overwhelmed, you're suffering. It's you know, it's just too much for for you to bear. It's time for you to drop this load with the ten of wands. The ten of wands, ten of wands speaks to releasing a burden. So what you need to do with this is four cups. Refuse the offer. <laughs> refuse the offer from this person like you know look at the blind spots because they're not gonna come in with their true intentions look at what's hidden what they're not saying let it be a missed opportunity you guys because you have a lot of opportunity that's coming towards you around money but if you don't let go of this connection you're gonna stunt the growth of your finances your stability your money moves this person is a they are blockage you know, we, we all had these situations like as long as I'm not doing that, as long as I was, I was staying away from that, I was doing good. As soon as I went back play with that, everything, you know, changed for me. That's this. So the advice again is eight of pinnacles. Work, preparation, skill, mastery, commitment, hard work, details, craftsmanship, building a business. And right here, your business is yourself. This means focus on yourself, right? That's all I got for you guys. I hope you like it. Again, this is for uh, my Aquariuses. See y'all in the next video. It's been a lot. You, you guys, this person is a distraction. Did y'all hear all these distractions I had during the course of this video? I had to ask my daughter to lower her phone. My phone just been dinging like crazy. Like, this person is a serious distraction for you. This person is distracting you from your metamorphosis. Don't let this person come in and stunt your growth now. Now, remember I warned you. See you on the next video. Bye.